Remember this? Back in 1930, when no one worried about men in space or nuclear weapons, the huge spans of the 28,000 ton archway of Sydney's Harbour Bridge were getting closer together. Motorists still used the punt to cross the water. In 1932, just 30 years ago, the bridge was finished and the Governor, Sir Philip Game, arrived for the opening ceremony. The Premier was Mr Jack Lang. The sensations were provided by Captain de Groot of the New Guard. De Groot slashed the ceremonial ribbon with his sword before he was grabbed by police. There's quite a scuffle. The captain is knocked from his horse. Then, minus his cap and sword, he is led away. The ribbon is tied together again. After all, this is the opening of a nine million pound bridge and the Premier has to be able to do the job properly. As he cuts the ribbon, another in the centre of the bridge explodes. Ferries toot their sirens and the procession starts. And what a carnival it is. Bands, floats, even the bikini girls of the 30s. And in those days, long before inflation, a penny farthing really amounted to something. Then the crowd surged across, thousands of them. You'll notice most of them are on foot. The reason, of course, lay at the other end of the bridge. Yes, that's right. They started collecting tolls on that very first day. Today, 30 years later, the tolls are dearer. And they're being collected from tens of thousands more cars. Another 30 years with the same progress as the last 30, and the bridge might even be paid for. Well, there's always a hope that it will. The Harbour Bridge. And on its 30th birthday, it's already crammed to capacity, and another like it is badly needed as Sydney continues to expand.